Welcome back. It's been a minute. Yeah, it's been a while since I last uploaded a video. I hope you've been hanging around watching my previous videos. Yeah, so today we are going to talk about self surface cutter. And yeah, I have a scene set up right now with three lights. Um, we are just going to go through what subsurface cutter is and how to set it up and then in the next video i'll show you how to use image textures to dry subsurface so one might be wondering what is subsurface well subsurface is the ability for an object to allow light penetrate penetrate through it and um, appear from another direction so we are going to look at how to create it in an easier way yeah we are going to use the red sheet standard material um, let me just delete these materials that I've been using I'm going to create our, our material from scratch so yeah let's get started with it um, first things first what you need is the red shift standard material so you come to create and shift and then you come to the standard material let's name this SSS since we are going to work with subsurface cutter now I'll go on and apply that into my material and I will I'll, I'll run my IPR, my render view. And I'll, let me just dock it right here. Let me just dock it right here. Yeah. That's, that's, that's good. And I'll run it. So my machine is a bit so slow. Yeah. This is what we have right now. Yeah. And for you to get subsurface cutter you will come to your material um, you come to your material instead of going to a shader graph we shall just do it right here come to your material down uh, we don't need the best we need the best color but we shall talk about that later and we shall adjust the reflection later what we are going to um, adjust right now is a subsurface cutter and just by you dragging the weight just like that you, you already have the subsurface cutter and if you're here just to see how to create subsurface cutter there you have it you already have it and yeah bye bye that's the end of the tutorial <laughs> anyway we are just getting started yeah so what i'll need to do first is change the color of my model so i'll go with like a red color go with something like red like that and you'll notice like nothing much changes but you have like light going through the, the the model but you have some parts that are a bit reddish small small yeah so subsurface scatter has as as you can see as i'm reducing as i'm increasing slowly you see the the way the light passes through the the model as i increase the the weight of the subsurface on one light passes through the model um fully so what we are going to first talk about is the the color now um the color of of, of the subsurface overrides the color of the the base color that of, of, of the material it overrides the base color of the material so let's say i have chosen um this blue yeah if i increase the weight it will override the red that we had before let's see if i increase the weight 
so that is what the color does it overrides the the base color but you might have like a kind of look you're going for where you want colors to be mixed let's say this was a bit orange because orange complements blue so let's say it was a bit a bit orange something like that yeah you'd find that you can create complement like a different look by just having to adjust the weight of the of the of the subsurface scatter just a little bit and you'd have quite interesting looks not like this one I think it looks interesting yeah so I'll keep this to one since I want it blue and then we shall talk about the next um, the next item which is the radius now the radius is um, the overall how far will the light go into the into the model now if the radius is set to zero course you'd have no light going through the object because the radius is set to zero you'd have the color overriding the base color but you don't have the the light going through now notice as I increase this slowly you'll begin to see the light going through the object slowly by slowly yeah and if I put it to two you get that waxy kind of look, kind of like a candle, yeah, candle that has just that has just been made. Um, if I brought this down just a little bit there, you get like that kind of plastic look, like um, it has just been 3D printed, yeah. And the best thing, the best thing about it is you can also change the color of the. Or the radius now notice if I put the radius on one and on two you'll have a blue and a red um, integrated together and you still have like a, a nice look to it which is um, which is a good thing yeah now I'll keep this on like um, one keep this on one and then for better aesthetics I will make this orange like this and just bring it a bit like um, like there yeah I'll need to increase this just a tiny bit and you, you have that nice look around the, the tail um, these fins right here yeah and you have still like a nice detail around here which, which really looks nice um the other thing is the anistrophy yeah um this I don't really change it much because I don't know much about it but to explain to you it is like gamma it is black and white um it also controls how light passes through an object now on negative one it will to be almost like there is less light going through the object yeah when I put it to negative one you, you, you can see how these fins are not like the tail is not fully um is not fully allowing light to go through it like it was before when this was on zero now if i take this back to zero let's put it on zero you can see the difference yeah now on one you guessed it just allows light to go through it which, 
he, this is not. Uh, he might be going for such a such kind of a look, but he doesn't look good. So I'll put this back to zero. And the other thing is the mod. Ideally, me I don't change this. So yeah, any any works. Red pressed, whatever. Any any really works. I don't really change much about it. Even this, I don't change much about it because, yeah, well, yeah, that is basically um, about it. Uh, you can go around and mess around with subsurface as you like, and then feel free to create uh, dope renders with it. You can go crazy on whatever concept you have. It doesn't matter um, how it doesn't matter what it is what matters is how you've executed it yeah and that is how you create um, subsurface scattering easily in, in redshift and cinema 4D yeah um, I guess we shall catch up in the next video when I'm showing you how to use image textures to drive the, the subsurface because sometimes you might need like now for candy you might need to let me just zoom in a bit so that I can show you I need to make this a bit rough so just increase my roughness just a bit this is something like that um, So for candy you might find and that you might find that there are some like particles inside the model and I will show you how to create that in the next video. Yeah uh, for now we are going to end this one here. Yeah for those who are wondering how I uh, how I lit the scene, well there are basically three lights, one at the back. Um, one on the side and one on the left side. Now that is how you create subsurface. Ideally, you need an area light and a model. That's it. Plus the red shift standard material. Yeah. Thank you guys for following up with the tutorial. If you have any questions or have any thoughts on the tutorial please feel free, feel, feel free to comment um, you can also leave um, subscribe if you're new to the channel uh, leave a like and comment yeah share with your friends and we shall catch up in the next video thank you guys